Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to deal with how to fix a Nintendo GameCube where the lid won't stay closed. Alright, so I'm sure some of you have had this problem or have dealt with this problem where this lid just won't stay closed, right? Or it takes a lot of work to get it to close. Um, honestly, 90% of the time it's just a cleaning issue. There's this crud around this open button that makes it stick. So you can see like with this one, it's not super bad. It's not the worst one I've ever dealt with, but watch the button will actually stay in there when you press it. Right? And so a lot of times you kind of have to smack this lid to make it work. So uh, what we're going to do is just clean it out. Um, this one is uh, freshly gross, as you can tell. Look at it. Yum yum. Uh, I literally just got this GameCube not too long ago, so let's just do a quick cleanup because I really don't want to mess with touching a lot of this. As you know, I like to use Armor All. It just seems to like melt the gross off of most of the stuff. Doesn't matter if it's like some sort of food stain or whatever. If it ends up being like a sticker stuff, Goo Gone works great too, but anyways, that's that's okay for now. There's some more stuff in here. Okay, so what you're gonna need is one of these Nintendo bits. Now this is the smaller one that uh, you use to open up cartridges such as this for the N64. What we need is the bigger one. So this one opens up like Super Nintendo's, it'll also open up this. So they're pretty deep into here. Now if you're worried about your uh, GameCube getting um, scratched up and stuff, I recommend putting down a cloth too so that it doesn't scuff up the top here. I'm not too worried about this one. So try and hold everything together once you have all four screws off so it doesn't come apart on you. And you'll get all the screws out here so there's four. That one's being finicky. Alright, we'll just leave that one alone. There it goes. Alright, so you know, make sure to keep it together so it doesn't separate on you. And uh, once you do that, the whole lid will come off. Like that. I'm going to be left with the unit here. So I'm going to make a separate video on how to actually transfer this. It'll actually show you how to clean up how, uh, a lot of this, these insides as well because it can very, it actually can get pretty nasty in here. You see, I believe the whole idea of this is the fan passes a bunch of air inside internally and out the side here. So, uh, you know, I, I think a video showing you how to transfer shells. Uh, say you have a shell that's in really nice condition or it's one of those you know really cool Pokemon ones but the laser on your system has died and you have another GameCube that you've picked up at a yard sale or whatever you want to switch it we'll, we can go over how to switch a good internal into a, uh, a case that you like so uh, sometimes people get those orange GameCubes from Japan and stuff they want a US version inside of them that's another great way to do it so anyways not to jabber too much on that we'll put this aside and we'll look at this guy here. So this is where all the mechanism is. Uh, we're gonna quickly blow that out as well. It's a little bit of compressed air, just cause there's lots of dust and stuff in here, so. <coughs> okay, so I dusted that out a little bit so it's not so gross. And basically, like I say, this just ends up being like a dirt issue that's in here. This one's not too bad. But uh, you got to take these two screws off here.
All right, we're gonna have to do with the light we have right now. I keep getting interrupted, so I have to stop the video, but uh, I'll try and show you here up close that, uh, you know, so basically we have the two screws off at this point. And, uh, and then it's just a matter of pulling up. So this part here is spring loaded, this top part. So we just basically pull, let's see if I can get that into focus. We just basically wanna pull that up and out. And it's gonna come it's gonna come apart in one piece like this. So, you know, in case you need to see what it looks like when you take it out. And this just sits up against that wall, the side wall here of the unit, right? It, it helps keep pressure on it. So, once you have that part out, set it aside. Okay, so once you have that part out, um, remember where the spring comes off and uh, you can you can look at all three buttons now there's the uh, power button the open and oh the power is back here sorry the power the reset and the open so the open is usually the problem one over here but take a look at the other ones as well and see how they are doing as far as like being kind of sticky or gross because you can kind of do this for all three it'll help open up the buttons quite a bit so what you want to do when you're in here, I don't know if you can see well enough, but you want to basically squish these two pieces together and then it'll pop out. So you push them together, see, and the button will start coming out. And then you just might need something to help push it out a little bit more. So let's grab a little screwdriver here. We're just going to push that middle part out. See, and then the button comes up. This is the kind of same problem that happens with um, N64s. Stuff gets in here, little bits of food or whatever, something gets spilt, and then this thing just does not close properly. Uh, same thing with the side of this, it can get kind of nasty. Um, all I really do once I get this off is to clean it up again with a little bit of armor all, seems to do the trick. And you just go around on the inside here. And clean it up all real nice. And yeah, you uh, you can just kind of get in there a little bit more into the corners to clean that up. Okay, and then do the same for this inside part. Just get your Q-tip in there and just run it all along the inside and clean it up real good. Okay, and then to go ahead and throw the, the uh, button back in, you'll notice is there, there's a fat side and a small side that'll uh, coordinate with the button so you just got to line those up there we go and it should be pretty free moving okay once you have that on this side here we're going to want to take a look at the piece that we pulled off and just make sure there's no like gross uh sticky stuff that made it down into into this area to make it you know not work properly so you know, even in these little openings here, just make sure everything is nice and clean. This one actually is in pretty good shape, so we'll try putting it together. So when you do that, all you have to do is line up the hole, keep the spring compressed on its side, and push it down. So a little bit tricky, it's a bit tight. There you go back in its spot, you know. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention, we'll take this off real quick because it's really easy. Make sure that, you know, the area up in here is all nice and clean as well, but there's not any gunk or anything, so. Okay, we're back in there. Uh, the other thing you might want to do while you're here as well is to clean this screen off. Okay, it comes off really simple. It makes it a lot easier to, to clean out. Okay. 
all it does is kind of pinch in between these three prongs that are here. Just kind of slides in and pinches on. Okay, so once that's all back together, we want to put these screws on. So, you know, till it stops, you don't have to like stop short. And let's test it. See how it's not even getting stuck now? Just that little bit of dirt was enough. See, just a little bit of stuff in here and that's enough for it to go wonky. See, we can do that all day long now. Now, if it still gives you a lot of trouble, uh, even after doing this, there's a couple things you can still do. Um, number one, if someone has gotten in here and actually butchered this button uh, by trying to, you know, like pry it upwards with a screwdriver, then what you're going to want to do is grab a, you know, a sandpaper with a little bit of grit on it, get that button out and just kind of smooth it out as best as you can because those little burrs are going to catch on the edges of the inside here and they're just not going to let you open it properly. So clean, clean it, like sand it down so it's nice and smooth and then test it, see how well it goes up and down in that space because um, it does have to have that clearance. Um, the other thing that I have done on occasion too, if it still gives me a little bit of grief, especially on this screw right here, is once it's all the way down, I'll just back it up about half a turn. And same with this one, like even just a quarter turn is enough. And it loosens these screws up, you know, and again, it's not going to hurt anything. It's still going to work perfectly fine. So. If it still gives you grief, you know, make sure that there's no burrs or anything on this button. And then back off these screws like a quarter after you like get to the point of not, you know, like giving you resistance that it's already hit the bottom. Back it off about a quarter turn and that'll just give it a little bit of play in here. Maybe, you know, it's possible that the plastic could have warped or whatever. So it gives it just a little extra play. You can kind of see the action there. and that'll solve your problem. All right, so when you put this back together, I mean, this one wasn't super sticky, but you know, you can see no more problems. I can't I can't make it stick to the side like it was before. And that'll that'll fix your problem. So really simple fix 90% of the time. All right, guys. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. It was a re this is a really simple fix, but I just wanted to show you in case you're you know super frustrated with uh, your GameCube not closing and you have to put books or whatever on it. Um, so that's how you fix that. Uh, the next part I'm going to show you is how to swap uh, a case with an internal. So say you have say this one here is a Pokemon one or it's a Japanese orange or something, but it just doesn't read discs or you want it to read American discs. Uh, and you have this American one you want to swap it into uh, inside this case. So uh, I'm just using the silver one as a guinea pig. But say you say you really like silver. Well, you know, this one doesn't read discs. You want to swap a good one into this one so you can keep the case. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like or dislike the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And we will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.